Well, you guys got another video on a cool thing to do with your USB flash drive. Now, if you want to create a USB flash drive lock, you can do. I'm going to show you how to do it in this video. Basically, once it's set up, you can remove your flash drive and no one's going to be able to log in your computer without the flash drive uh, plugged in. So let's take a look at this piece of software that we're going to use here. Keylock is a program to lock and sign you into your computer using a USB flash drive or your phone. So this is what the software will look like. We'll get it downloaded and installed. Now this is a great security measure because it's not possible to use your computer after you've locked it with the key lock. Now, it's really easy to set this up. Once you've got this set up, basically what it's gonna do is you've got a Windows password set up on your account. And then when you uh, log out of your computer, you remove the USB flash drive and basically, if anyone tries to log in, even if they knew your password, they would not be able to log in unless they plug in the USB flash drive first. So let's download for personal use. We're going to download this software here and we get it installed. It's free to use. You can even install this on an older USB flash drive that you may have lying around that you don't use anymore. Good thing about this is if you're in the vicinity of loads of people and you've got your computer or laptop lying around and you walk away from it, you can actually pull the USB flash drive out, take it with you, go and get a coffee or something, and they will not be able to gain access to that laptop because it's been set up as a secure uh, key on that laptop. So it's a really good uh, way of keeping secure with your laptop or your PC. So let's go ahead and get this installed on the PC. I'm just going to go through here and get this installed. Pretty straightforward stuff. And uh, let me go ahead and install here. There we go. It needs to download some .NET uh, files as well. So I'm going to let it do this for us. It'll go ahead and install these on the computer. That's now all done. And once we're done, we can launch the uh, key lock. Now it's going to ask you to put in your Windows login password. And uh, you can do that right now. If you don't have this set up, then you will need to set up a Windows password first. So this is the software. I've already got a password set up, but I'll quickly show you here. Go into control panel inside here, user accounts. And what you want to do is make sure that you do have a Windows password installed, otherwise, you're not going to be able to set it up. I've already got mine installed here and set up. So, this is the password that I'm going to use for the key lock. So, now that's done, what I'm going to do is go back to the key lock software and set this up so we can use it. So, it's pretty straightforward. Now, we can't click on this yet because we do need to manage our physical unlock device. You can add a phone as an unlock device as well. Inside here, you can see log events. You can also send email notifications uh, to yourself if you wish. You can record audio and you can also uh, time to record and it will say free there. Lock the screen behavior. This is if you want to lock the screen behavior. You can set this up to how you like. And again, require password to be entered to sign in. You can check mark this as well. And you've got the application side of it, automatic updates, install beta versions, and key management. This is import your keys, export your keys, randomize keys, all that sort of good stuff is down here. Very simple and easy to do. So let me go ahead and you can enter your new password in here if you want to. And this means it will just log in as soon as you plug in your USB flash drive. I'm just going to quickly update my Windows password here, put it in here, and just update it. And then basically, the way this is going to work is once you log out of your computer or sign out of your computer, you can walk away and uh, you would have the login screen there or the sign in screen. And then when you want to sign in, you will just basically plug in your USB flash drive and click the enter key and it will just lo load straight into Windows because it's all on the USB flash drive. Whereas before you would have to type it all out and you don't have to do that with this particular method. Now we've got that set up. All you need to do is make sure I'm going to format my USB flash drive here and uh, we're just going to hit format and just format it. And we'll leave this as say for instance, NTFS. So you can put whatever you like in here. You can call it unlock or lock or whatever you want to call it and then click um, start. And this will just format the USB flash drive. Make sure that it's completely empty and there's no data on there. So that's now done. It's just uh, finishing off. And once that's done, we can then open up the software again 
and we'll need to select that USB flash drive because that's what we're going to be using to sign in and out of our computer. Just go ahead and click on this one here, Manage Physical Unlock Device. And now we can select the USB flash drive that we want to use. So just refresh uh, so it shows up here. It might just say not working for a while. There it goes. And it will come back. So there we go. Unlock removable. That is the one we want, our D drive. So we're going to use this to unlock it. So let's just select that. And you should now see it being selected at the bottom. And you can set a daily uh, time limit here. And you can also set some other information here. But I'm going to leave that as is. And then we can uh, go ahead and move on to the next step. So let's go back now. So we've got our USB flash drive set. Just going to put in our password. So let's go ahead and put in our Windows password here. This is our login password. And then we can click OK. And that will store the information on our USB flash drive. So we're going to need to click OK. And here we can see activate. So we need to activate this by putting in the use key lock in the sign in area. And we're going to also automatic uh, lock in as well. We're going to put the check mark in there as well. So put that check mark in. That's now done. And basically it's all working. It's ready to go. So let's log out and I'll show you basically how this works. We're going to take the USB flash drive out and shut off. Don't worry about the dust on top of the computer. And uh, we're just going to sign out here. It's now signed out. And you will get a screen looking like this. And you can just push enter to sign in to your account. You don't need to type in the password because it's all stored on your USB flash drive. And we can plug in the USB flash drive here. And what I'll do is I'll just push enter on the sign in area. And we should be then good to go. And this is the other screen I wanted to show you here as well. It works the same for this. You can just click on this here down the bottom and you can click on this. Make sure you're on the right login and then basically just click on the arrow to log in where it says password there. Click that and it should log straight in. And there you go. And the same thing for this one. Just basically click on that bottom one. You can also log in this way if you wish. So choose which way you want to log in. But once you're there, you can basically just log in. As long as you've got your USB flash drive in the computer uh, that you're logging into, it should log it, load into the actual uh, desktop like this. It's that simple. And again, you can walk away from your PC and no one's going to be able to log into that computer because they won't have the permission because you'll have it in your hand on that USB flash drive. Anyway, I hope this video has been some sort of use to you. Nice little USB trick there for you to have a little go with. Uh, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. I shall catch you on the Discord server for a chat or I'll catch you in the very next video. Have a lovely weekend and I will see you again real soon. Bye for now.